Hi guys, it's Lita. So, um, I know it's been a while since I've done like a kind of serious video. And you know, there was that recent suicide that was about cyberbullying. And so I decided that right now would be kind of a relevant time to make a video about stuff like this. Basically, the first thing that I want to address is how easy it is not to say something mean. It's just like, it's like four-year-old stuff that you learn that in. You know, like when you were a kid, maybe watching Bambi, you know, when Thumper's like, oh yeah, if you don't have anything nice to say, then don't say it at all. And just as a confession, I can personally see from the point of view of the person leaving the mean comment and the person receiving it. Because yeah, I do admit when I was 14 and 15 or 13, 14, 15, I used to leave mean comments on stuff all the time. Not even thinking one thought about what the other person could be feeling. It's like, it hurts to think about because I know exactly how it feels. I mean, the joy of leaving a mean comment just to mess with someone, uh, that's like when a three-year-old gets a new toy and they forget about it in two days and they want a new one and it keeps going. It's like that. But the person who receives the mean comment or the mean whatever, uh, that's gonna stick with them forever, most likely. Like, I remember stuff from when I was 6, 7, 12, you know, all the all ages. I remember oh, so many things that were so horrible and they still affect me today. Because someone just felt like being mean. And it sticks. It really sticks. And I know everyone watching this video can relate to that. I have been really stressed out really under pressure and really, really fearful lately. Honestly, mostly because of stuff that's been going around online. The internet, to me, has turned into just a giant toxic game of telephone. And if you don't know what that is, it's when one word of mouth goes into another person and it just keeps on spreading, but it gets distorted and twisted. And by the time it reaches the last person, it's a completely different story. And it's really sad that I can't use the internet without having to worry about seeing all this stuff about myself spread across the internet that isn't true. Or that's distorted. Or if it is true, it's stuff that happened like six or seven years ago. Why does that matter now? Honestly, if someone gives you a rumor, just stop it right there. It doesn't need to go any further. If it goes any further, what is it going to do for you? Like, what benefit does that have to you? It doesn't benefit you at all to spread a rumor. But does it affect the person that the rumor is about? Absolutely. For example, one rumor that has been spreading around about me is that I lost all of my friends and that I've changed and that I'm not the same person. First off, every everybody, you know, they fall in and out of friends. It's like that one saying, Best friends are like butt cheeks, shit pulls them apart, but they always come back together. Yeah, I did lose a couple of friends, but I'm back with them. Literally. We talk. We're friends. That happens. Friends come apart and come back together all the time. It's just a way of life. For the part about me changing, of course I'm changing. It's, I mean, I've already addressed this in a video a while ago, but still, everybody is supposed to change. That's what comes with age. I mean, people always ask me and get really upset about me not being the exact same person that I was when I was 14 and 15. Of course I'm not. Now, I'm an 18-year-old. I'm legally an adult now. I have adult responsibilities now. And I'm growing up. And everybody grows up. I mean, unless you're a freaking Benjamin Button, then I can't help you, but still. I know, me personally, I'm a completely different person now. There have been good changes and bad changes. That's just what comes. I mean, no one is going to be perfect. No one is going to turn into a superhuman. That's just not how things are. Imperfections make a person who they are. And the next thing I want to address also has to do with the rumors about me changing. People have been commenting and messaging my friends and myself with horrible things. One of my friends actually was told several times to kill herself because people online thought that she was changing me. You don't just tell someone to kill themselves. And I want to tell you guys a little story um, of a person I know, knew, that was t way too affected by cyberbullying and they actually did end their own life. He was basically my best friend 
for about a year and a half and I'd never met him in person but we talked all the time, webcammed all the time and he was a homosexual. People did not accept his sexuality and the way that he looked they did not accept it uh, online or in real life and he was only 17 years old when he just disappeared for two months. He didn't come out of his house, he didn't talk to anybody, he didn't talk to me. And one day he messaged me after two months and said, thank you, you were the only person here for me. And literally the next day, I got a message from his sister saying that he was gone. He had killed himself. And guess why he did that? He ended his own life because people were hurting him so much and they probably didn't even realize. But he's gone now. He's gone. Because of people being ignorant and closed-minded and not watching what they say. I know there are probably quite a few of you watching this right now who have dealt with uh, wanting to commit suicide before um, because I've gotten letters uh, with people telling me um, about how I help stop them from committing suicide, I hope I can continue doing that. As hard as it is to deal with things, just stay as strong as you can, please. I know it's really hard, and I can't guarantee that this video is even going to do anything. I can't. Because this is just a video on the internet of me talking about not being mean to people. And I can't guarantee that this is going to have any effect on anybody. If you're one of those people that leaves comments calling people fat, calling people too skinny, calling people ugly, uh, calling people, labeling people in bad ways, or telling them to kill themselves, most importantly, just think about this. How hard is it not to press send?